Here's a GRE coordinate geometry question. Let's take a look. In the XY plane, line M has a slope of 5 and goes through the point 4, 3. Meanwhile, line N has a slope of negative 2 and goes through the point 5, 1. All right, before I do anything else, I'm going to draw this. And that's an important point to make. If you ever have a geometry question where they don't draw the picture for you, absolutely draw it yourself because you might notice something as you do it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw what I have here. It's in an XY coordinate plane. So there's my Y axis and there's my X axis. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and what do I have? I have one point that has a slope of 5 and goes through the point 4, 3. So the point 4, 3, and I'm just kind of sketching right now. It's right about there. And a slope of 5 is a really, really steep positive slope. Now, it's important that you know all of the rules about the xy coordinate plane. And I'm not going to cover all of them right now, but you should be able to sketch a line like this, right? Slope of 5 goes to the point 4, 3 right there. Okay, and so then we have this other line, line n, that has a slope of negative 2 and goes to the point 5, 1. Well, if that's 4, 3, 5, 1 is going to be right about there-ish. Again, just eyeballing this. And it's going to have a negative slope, a slope of negative 2. So maybe something like this. Boom. Right? That is not a bad picture. I keep patting myself on the back here. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, and what's the question? We want to know what's greater, the y-intercept of m, the first line. Well, the y-intercept of m is going to be way down here. It's going to be some negative number. Or the y-intercept of n, way up here. That's going to be a positive number. Well, clearly, quantity b is going to be greater. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.